In today's video, I'm gonna share with you two new Yield Max secrets for NVIDIA and Tesla. NVIDIA and Tesla are the Yield Max covered call funds for NVIDIA and Tesla. These funds help us earn over 500,000 per year in dividends, as you can see below, and they're helping us outperform the market. We're up 26.17. The SP is up 18, the Nasdaq's up 18, the Dow's up 10, and the Russell's up 9. So we're beating all the indexes with margin. I have to say this in every video because no one thinks that margin can work in both up and down markets. Of course, margin is going to work in up markets. It's going to give you more leverage, but people think that I'm going to lose my shirt in a down market. Well, we just had a 15% correction, and we're still up 26% for the year. So it just takes using a special blend of these funds, Yield Max, Cornerstone, Defiance, and Roundhill funds. All these funds plus margin help me live free from a 9 to 5. If you need help doing the same, email me for my e-guides at akintod48 at gmail.com. So again, I have two new Yield Max secrets that I want to share with y'all when it comes to NVIDIA and Tesla. And I had to figure these out because I wanted to own NVIDIA, but the maintenance was so high, I had to figure out another way to control semiconductors and NVIDIA. So I'm going to share with you those two secrets now. I don't have a fancy intro for you guys and gals because I don't want a fancy intro. I think my numbers should speak for themselves. I've been through this in past videos. I've had to say this before in my you know first video starting out with YouTube that I'm not trying to have a fancy intro. This is very serious information that I'm sharing. Many people who follow my channel, we have over a thousand members in Discord, for example. Many members who follow me are putting their whole life savings into my strategy. So this is very serious stuff and I have to treat it accordingly. So I'm just going to show you the numbers, show you that we're beating the markets. This is exactly what you want to do when you're investing. You want to beat the indexes. And if you're using margin leverage like I'm using, this 400,000 in margin leverage with Tesla and NVIDIA, you want to make sure that you're doing it properly okay so here's the key at my channel for every one dollar you put in your account you get four dollars of purchasing power i have to say this in every video because people will say well you're crazy for using margin you're going to you know really pay when the next crash comes well our dividends of over five hundred thousand per year will pay back our leverage in less than one year so our dividends keep coming in each month and they keep giving us cushion from a margin call we earn about 40 to 50,000 now in dividends per month. So that grows our available withdrawal by 40 or 50,000. That grows our net account value by 40 or 50,000 each month. And that knocks down my leverage by 40 or 50,000 each month. So I'm not worried about my margin leverage because it's paid back by my dividends. I'm also not worried about my interest. I've negotiated down my margin interest twice. Many of my clients who bought my e guys did the same thing because when you buy my e guys you get my phone number for free for life. So there's an arbitrage opportunity there with our margin interest, okay? We're making money using margin. Just by clicking a mouse, we're making a profit. And so you almost can't afford not to use margin. So that's how I do it. And I avoid margin calls each year because I keep a 20% cushion in between me and a margin call at all times. I can withstand over 30% corrections at this point. And the key to withstanding these corrections is having not only low maintenance names, but put options on in case there's a crash. I keep put options on. As you know, they were up close to 2,000% during the recent correction. That means that we could have been up almost 130,000, but I didn't let my options compound. I kept taking the profits early. And if we had had a true crash, a 30% crash, we would make over a million dollars if we just let our options compound. If you need help buying options to insure your portfolio like I do, that's in my volume five e-guide. So we always keep low maintenance names on. We always keep a cushion on with our margin so that we don't reach a margin call. So I don't want to hear any complaints in my comments about how I'm going to lose in the event of a crash because I use all this margin. Our dividends pay this back. We use low maintenance names and we have put options on that ensure our account every month. So here's what I wanted to share with you when it comes to Tesla, okay? The Yield Max covered call fund that covers Tesla, okay? This is what I wanted to share with you. First of all, Tesla has pulled back to the 200 day moving average. This is an all important area on the chart, okay? And on a 10 year chart, it's pulled back to the 50 day moving average. So the stars are beginning to align for Tesla, it looks like, and Tesla is a large part of the indexes, okay? I like to use an indexed approach here so that I don't care what I buy. I don't worry about winning or losing with my stocks because first of all, the dividends always cash flow the losses anyway, but also if I'm indexed, I just live and die with the index. So if you go to the S&P, you'll see that 
Tesla is not a top 10 holding here, but it is in the NASDAQ, okay? QQQ, you'll see Tesla here, one of the top 10 holdings for a QQQ. It's two and a half percent of the index, a little bit over two and a half percent. So I definitely want to own Tesla since it's a large part of the indexes. And now it's pulled back to the 200 day moving average on a one year chart and on a 10 year chart, it's on the 50 day moving average. This means that the stars are aligning for Tesla and I want to own it, but Tesla doesn't pay a dividend. So how do I capitalize on the upside potential of Tesla while still collecting dividends at the same time and not running up my margin debt too much at the same time? Well, this is what I did. So I bought some Tesla. I showed all my members on Friday that I bought more Tesla because of this development with Tesla. And I want to just show you something else with Tesla. Okay. Tesla is 50% maintenance, okay? Tesla, well, we're not going by Tesla. We're going with Tesla because that's what we want to own for dividends. So Tesla is 50% maintenance, okay? And the key with Tesla is not putting too much in any one stock because stocks can take you down, of course. But with 50% maintenance, that sucks up half your equity, okay? So you can reach a margin call much faster with stocks and yield max because they fall by much greater amounts than the indexes and they're 50% maintenance. That's why you have to keep these positions small, okay? I never put too much in one stock, especially if it has high maintenance. If you need help understanding maintenance, that's in my volume three e-guide. So we can't put too much in Tesla. How can we own Tesla without the risk? Okay, so I bought some Tesla. Okay, I added to Tesla, but we also have crash. Everyone knows about the inverse vehicle for Tesla. We have crash. So you still get a dividend with crash and it hedges it to the downside and it's only 50% maintenance. Usually shorts are 100% maintenance. So we have crash to hedge Tesla just in case we're wrong. I also bought some Tesla stock just a little bit so that it can give me extra gains, okay? Tesla stock is 40% maintenance though, so beware. Most stocks are 30% maintenance, okay? So you don't wanna own too much of the stock in my opinion, at E-Trade at least, because it's higher maintenance and it doesn't pay you a dividend. So if you're wrong on margin, that's how you really lose. But if you have dividends on margin, the dividends just pay back the margin. So it doesn't really matter what the stock price does. If Tesla keeps falling, you're eventually gonna win because the dividends will cash flow you. If Tesla keeps falling, you won't win eventually. It'll just keep falling and you'll be chasing good money after bad if you keep buying Tesla. So we have Tesla to combine with Tesla. We have crash to hedge with Tesla. And then you have the granite shares, TSL, which gives you a little bit extra leverage if you're interested in that. This is 100% maintenance though. So I was talking to representatives from granite shares about doing an interview. They want me to interview them. And I don't really like doing interviews, as y'all know. I'm not really in this for the content. I'm in this for the numbers, the results, and to see if y'all can challenge me with my ideas. So TSL, it's 100% maintenance for me. It's hard for me to own. But if you have other brokers with lower maintenance, maybe you want to explore owning some TSL to boost your Tesla performance. Okay, moving on to NVIDIA. I want to share NVIDIA with you guys and gals. If you're a trader, you can buy here and put your stop loss below the 50, but I don't use stop losses. I let my dividends cash flow all my losses. So NVIDIA, it's a large part of the indexes. I'm not worried about trading it and losing on some trades when it's a large part of the indexes. I just want to go long term with the indexes. So how can we play NVIDIA with NVIDIA? Because NVIDIA doesn't really pay a dividend. So we're buying NVIDIA, but the problem with NVIDIA is that yes, it doesn't give you the growth of NVIDIA, but also it is 100% maintenance. This is what sent shockwaves through the community here recently when we had our maintenance changes at E-Trade. NVIDIA went to 100% and Tesla stayed at 50, which was nice. But again, NVIDIA and some other yield max names went to 100% maintenance. So that was a huge problem. We had to reduce a lot of our NVIDIA exposure, but I'm here to share with you a new secret that I caught on to because of the maintenance that might help you when you want to control NVIDIA without the margin debt rising or without your available for withdrawal falling because NVIDIA again is 100% maintenance. Again, if you need help understanding maintenance, that's in my volume three e-guide. So this is what I did. Look at the naked options. They are 50% maintenance, okay? So if you wanna own NVIDIA, you can own it, but it's gonna suck up all of your equity. Or you can sell options on it and lower your risk, lower your margin, and raise your available withdrawal at the same time. So if you sell NVIDIA, you're gonna flood back to your available withdrawal about, let's say if you have 10K NVIDIA, you're gonna flood back to your available withdrawal, 10K of available withdrawal. So you're gonna raise your equity by 10K. That gives you valuable cushion from a margin call. But then you sell the puts on NVIDIA for really nice premiums, okay? We've sold puts on Misty and we sold puts on Kony, okay? And NVIDIA is no different. We're gonna sell some puts on NVIDIA as well because 
the premiums are pretty nice for NVIDIA. And so if you take the strike price that I'm going to choose on Monday minus the premiums that we're going to get, which are about $500, it's going to lower our risk by about five points. All right. So everyone's going to be controlling NVIDIA up at the highs. We're going to be controlling it five points lower. And when I sell the put on NVIDIA, it's only going to have my available withdrawal drop by 50% instead of 100%. So that's how I'm going to play NVIDIA going forward. I'm going to lower my margin by a few thousand dollars. I'm going to lower my risk by about five points. And I'm going to raise my available withdrawal. If you need help selling put options like I do, that's in my volume six e-guide. So if you're buying stocks thinking that you're a beginner and you don't want to get into selling options because you think that that's too risky or too complicated, you're really mistaken and you're really missing out because when you sell options, it's like buying stocks, but with training wheels, okay? You get paid to take the risk, okay? They pay you the premiums to lower your risk. And if you get assigned at the lows, great. You increase your income and you get capital gains on the upside once the stocks move higher again. So I want assignment in my put options. This is what Warren Buffett did with his Coca-Cola option. He sold puts on his Coca-Cola and then he just waited for assignment. If he didn't get the assignment, then he just collected the high premium. So we're either gonna make thousands of dollars from our premiums, or if we get assigned early, we're gonna be up significantly, so we won't be assigned early. But if we get assigned at the lows, if the market drops, we're gonna increase our income and then make more money on the upside. So it dollar cost averages for you when you sell puts. You sell puts to get into things, and you sell calls to get out of things, okay? So I'm gonna buy more QQQY on Monday to replace that lost income from NVIDIA, or I'll buy QDTE but QDTE is 50% maintenance. So you have to be careful with QDTE. You can go to other brokers with lower maintenance, but you don't wanna buy more of something just because it has lower maintenance and increase your leverage in return. You don't wanna have too much leverage when you're using margin. Only enough leverage to where you can pay it back with dividends and to where you can still withstand over 20 to 30% corrections in the market. So be careful when you're buying QDTE. And also, if you switch brokers to buy more QDTE for the lower maintenance, they might not have the special drift for Cornerstone, if you're tired of hearing this point about Cornerstone, go ahead and click out of the video. Cornerstone is where I have 400000 of my dollars parked at because it's a five-star fund and it moves upper left to right on its chart. If you go to a chart on E-Trade, you'll see that it moves sideways to down. That's because you have to factor back in dividends, drips, and rights offerings. Cornerstone has a 20% dividend and it averages 20% premiums per year. Plus, it has a special drip where it takes a 20% dividend up here if you're owning the shares up here. And it's dripping the dividend down here at the bottom for free money or extra money, whatever you want to call it, every month. Okay, So you can't afford not to own Cornerstone because if you drip the 21% dividend, it's giving you extra gains, almost a 15% gain now every month because the premiums at Cornerstone are about 15% now. 15% here for CRF, as you can see. So if we have a 21% dividend and it's dripping down at the bottom, we're making an extra 15% every month, okay? Free money every month just from dripping Cornerstone. I don't drip anything else because there's no advantage like Cornerstone. That's why I always share Cornerstone. I don't get paid from Cornerstone, Yield Max, or Defiance. I'm just sharing what works for me. The key with Cornerstone is playing it properly around its rights offerings, and that's in my Volume 4 e-guide if you need help playing Cornerstone. Rights offerings just help you level up your account even faster because you take the 20% dividends plus the 20% premiums and the special drip gains, which can amount to over 50% gains in a given year, and then you reset your gains after the rights offering is over and you just buy back in at the bottom and you rinse and repeat this process going forward. That's how I grew my account so fast out of the gate. So once again, if you need help playing Cornerstone, that's in my Volume 4 e-guide. And when you buy my e-guides, you get free access to Discord for Life, where we alert you of the Cornerstone rights offering announcement. We also have all these other channels here for your enjoyment. We have a Roundhill channel, Yield Max, Defiance, a Broker Specifics channel, a Canadian channel for Canadian investors, you name it. We have it all here at this Discord. So if I can't answer whatever questions you have about your brokerage account, someone here in Discord most likely can. We have over a thousand members here in the Discord chat and pursuing the fire lifestyle. And we're all on the journey together so if you like my video click like or subscribe hit the like button there if you haven't already and i'll talk to you soon everyone thanks